Hi students, I welcome all of you to e-shikshana. I am Dr. Gopal Reddy, Professor and Head, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Vidyavartha College of Engineering, Mysuru. Now let us discuss about the challenges and opportunities for electric vehicles in India. Why do we switch over to electric vehicle? What are the problems we are facing at present situation? What is the remedy for these problems? These things we have to study now. In the very beginning, let us discuss about the topics that related to electric vehicle. In the very beginning, we have to discuss configuration of electric vehicles, performance of electric vehicles, traction motor characteristics, vehicle performance, then energy consumption, concept of hydric, hydro electric vehicles. Next one. We have to discuss about energy storage. Energy storage that is an important factor for electric vehicles. Battery parameters. How to select battery for electric vehicles? What are the different types of batteries available in the market? Modeling of battery, fuel cells, super capacitors. These things we have to study. Next one. Nowadays, electric vehicle is becoming a popular because we are facing a lot of problems. It is very difficult to get a fresh air to breathe because of heavy vehicles in the road. Just in the 30 years back, when I was a student, we used to reach the college by a cycle. Nowadays, there is a lot of vehicles in the road. You just imagine what is the amount of carbon emitting by these vehicles. Therefore, due to these problems, as electrical engineers, we need to find out a suitable solution by designing electric vehicle. The concept of electric vehicle is very easy because electric vehicle means there is a motor. We have to move the vehicle. Either it's a two-wheeler or a three-wheeler or a four-wheeler. There is a motor that plays a very important role to move the vehicle. Here, electric motor, we can give, we can run electric motor by giving supply. Either AC supply or a DC supply depends upon the type of the motor. Here, in the electric vehicle, the role of electric motor is very important. First, we have to select what type of motor we have to use for a particular electric vehicle. Because in our college, we have designed the electric vehicle. There is an electric bicycle we have designed. There is a two-wheeler we have designed. Recently, to 2021, we have designed electric car. There is a three-wheel electric car. So here, the basic factor, either a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler, the motor we have to select. At what speed we have to run? What is the torque? That things we have to calculate. What is the load? At what speed we have to run the vehicle? So we have to decide the motor. Then the question is, how to give supply to the motor? Here again, there is a battery. The battery that plays a very important role in electric vehicle. Then we need to control the motor. With the help of a battery, when supply is given to the motor, the motor is able to run at a certain speed. Maybe let us say there is a rated speed. But we need to control the motor. We need to control the speed. How to control? In between battery and there is a motor, in between battery and there is a motor, we need to control. There is a controlling device. The controlling device, we can easily control the speed. At what speed we have to run the vehicle? Either 30 km speed or a 40 km or a 100 km speed. So it plays a very important role. And also there is a braking device, the controller that has a braking device along with the controlling. Question is how to select a battery for any type of electric vehicle? Here the battery, for example, the rating of a battery that depends upon the rating of the motor. The rating of the motor that depends upon the type of vehicle. For example, there is a 1 kilowatt motor, there is a brushless DC motor, the various motors available in the market. Maybe there is a 1 kilowatt DC motor, a permanent magnet motor, brushless DC motor. Starting from fractional HP to several, maybe 10 HP, 100 HP, 200 HP. So we have to find out a suitable motor. Here, for our electric vehicle, we have suggested a 1 kilowatt motor. 1 kilowatt motor, the voltage rating is a 48 volt. We know that. With the help of equation that we already studied, I is equal to P by V, I is equal to P by V. Power is known, 1 kilowatt, voltage is 48. 
i is equal to p by v the current carrying capacity that we have to calculate. For example, the current carrying capacity of this motor is a 28 ampere. The question is how to get the question is how to get a 28 ampere we need i is equal to p by v i is equal to p divided by v that this this equation we already studied here p is equal to the power power let us say there is a 1 kilowatt 1000 watt voltage there is a 48 approximately let us say the current is a 28 or a 29 or a 30 ampere current the question is how to get this current there is a battery here the battery there is an ampere hour. What type of battery I have to select for this motor? In case if if I go for a 28 or a 32 ampere, 32 ampere hour, 30, there are different rating of batteries available in the market. Maybe 1 ampere, 1 ampere hour, 10 ampere hour, 32 ampere hour, 60 ampere hour, 100 ampere hour. So for this motor, if I go for a 32 ampere hour battery, if I run the machine, if I run the motor continuously for one hour, it draws a 28 or a 29 ampere, 28 or 29 ampere, that is ampere hour. So what is the maximum speed we can run? We can run at a speed of 60 kilometer per hour. That means maximum one kilo, maximum we can ride at a speed of 60 kilometer per hour. One hour we can cover a 60 kilometer. So what is the energy we have to spend to charge the battery? Hardly about there is a one unit is sufficient, one unit is sufficient to recharge the battery. The cost of one electrical unit, one electrical energy or a kilowatt hour, one unit approximately let us say there is a 5 rupees. That means to cover 60 or a 70 kilometer, we can spend only small amount of 5 rupees is sufficient. Whereas other vehicles, just imagine to cover the same 60 kilometer, we have to spend at least 3 liters, 3 liters of fuel we required. In case if there is a petrol vehicle, approximately we have to spend, there is a 300 rupees. But you just observe here, we are spending, there is a 5, uh, five rupees. Here, there are several advantages in case if you go for electric vehicle. Electric vehicle, it is a noiseless operation. You just imagine the other vehicle. There is a heavy noise. When the vehicle starts moving, there is a heavy noise. Here it is a noiseless operation. Here, very small amount of, very small amount we need to spend to charge the battery. But initial cost is required. What is the initial cost? The important parts are the battery, there is a motor, there is a controller. Control. These are important parts required for any type of electric vehicle. So in the next slides, we are discuss about how we are going to calculate the battery. What are the different types of batteries available in the market? Again, there are several disadvantages. You cannot forget about the disadvantages of a batteries. To overcome and to reduce the negative impact of environment and emerging technology and automation introduce, to introduce electric vehicle, there is a negative impact. There is a lot of carbon, just before I told you, there is a lot of carbon emitted by the vehicles. It is very difficult to get a pure air. Therefore, we need to switch over to electric vehicle. Many works are implemented in battery efficiency, but the problem is we need to concentrate about the battery. In case if the battery is not able to supply the electric energy to the motor, the electric vehicle may stop at any stage. So therefore, we need to think over how to select a battery, how to improve the performance of the battery. Electric vehicles first came into existence in the mid 19th century when electricity was among the preferred methods for motor vehicle propulsion, providing a level of comfort and ease of operation that could not be achieved by the gasoline cars of the time. Electric vehicle growth in India is depended on overcoming the challenges like cost. Initial cost is very high, but what about the maintenance cost? Maintenance cost is very less, but as compared to other vehicle, the initial cost is very high. Initial cost, how the initial cost is very high? For example, there is a battery. Just before I told you, for a 48 voltage, the motor that required a 48 voltage. Just for example, I am considering only 48 volt for the, this motor. How to get a 48 volts? It is very difficult to get a 48 volts of battery from the market. 
Nowadays you can get, but 12 voltage battery is available in almost all places. If you want to get a 48 volts, the 12 voltage batteries, 4 12 voltage batteries you have to connect it in series, then only we are able to get a 48 volt. But the question is, what is the amount of space? Is to batteries and connect one another in the space is to be a good day. As to space be a good day, what is the size of the electric vehicle? Automatically the size goes on increases. The weight of the electric vehicle increases. When the weight increases, that means the load increases. When the load increases, what about the current? Current just a drama of the day. Current just a drama of the same current has to drawn from the battery only. The battery discharges very quickly. Therefore, we have to switch over to switch over to a battery, there is a single battery. In case if you go for a single battery, what is the cost? Therefore, there are some disadvantages are there. We need to eliminate these disadvantages. The majority of India's automotive buyers focus on vehicles that are compact and provide long term reliability and cost benefits. Of course, the initial cost of the vehicle is very high, the cost, but what about the running cost? Running cost is very less. The maintenance cost is very less. Just before I told you, the maintenance cost, Andre, once a battery discharge, we need to charge the battery by connecting into the supply. Is to current drama, is to unit we have to spend. Not more than one unit. Approximately, let us say there is a one unit. One unit is 5 rupees. And then per kilometer cover approximately we can spend only 10 paisa or 8 paisa. But whereas in other vehicle, we need to spend, there is a 3 rupees or a 5 rupees we have to spend. Long term reliability, the long time that depends upon the efficiency of the battery. If the battery is a good condition, there is no any problem, we can drive the vehicle. We can drive the vehicle without affecting. But nowadays, there is a problem that takes place in the battery. If we travel around 50 to, around 50 to 60 kilometer, the battery may discharge us. What is the remedy? How to charge? We cannot carry the battery at all times. We need to charge the battery, charging stations. We need to think over about the charging stations. In case if we get a charging station very quickly, we can charge the battery or else we can replace the battery and we can get it the new battery. So there are some disadvantages are there. What is the biggest challenge with the electric vehicle? Lower prices and the government costs. Challenges. In a case, if the person wants to buy electric vehicle, the government has to give subsidy. Then we need to encourage, we need to motivate the people to buy electric vehicle. Lack of charging station, that is a disadvantages. Disad main disadvantage, lack of charging station. In case if the battery discharges immediately, we are in a position to charge the battery. So, where to get a charging station? So, here this drawback, we have to think about this drawback. We need to find out the suitable solution for the charging stations. At present, the charging stations are limited. Charging time to charge a battery, at least we have to spend one hour, one and a half hour, two hours we have to spend charging time. High initial cost, the cost of the battery. In case if you go for a lithium ion, the cost of the battery, let us say there is a 20,000. Whereas a lead acid battery, we can spend 4,000 rupees. That means the total cost, the cost, a heavy cost to set up electric vehicle, to design electric vehicle or to buy electric vehicle, heavy amount, that is high initial cost, effects on grid. When all the electric vehicles are put into a charging condition, there is a variation that there is a spikes that takes place in the electric grid. Impact of electric vehicle charging station load on distribution network. The impact of electric vehicle charging station loads on the electricity distribution network cannot be neglected. The variations in the char while charging the variation in the electricity cannot be forget about, we cannot be neglected. The high charging loads of the fast charging stations results in increased peak load demand. Reduced reserve margins, voltage instability, it is very difficult to get a constant voltage. When the batteries are put into charging conditions, there is a variation in the voltages. Just before the voltage was 220 or a 230 voltage, when all the batteries are put into charging condition, 
whatever the voltage, voltage decreases maybe 230 or a 220 or a 211 or a 200. So, there is a variation in the voltage. We need to get a constant voltage. Electrical engineers have to think over how to maintain a constant voltage even after the electric vehicles are put into a charging condition. Greenhouses gases, when the batteries are put into a charging condition, what is the amount of gases comes out from the battery? It is a harmful effects, it spoils the environment. We cannot inhale those gases, decrease the life cycle of a transformer. Advantage of an electric car, no gas required, no fuel required, it is a more convenient savings, no emissions, no emissions popularity. Safe to drive cost effective, low maintenance, of course, initial cost is very high, but low maintenance. The cost, what is the amount we are spending to charge a battery, hardly about to, there is a one unit, let us say there is a two unit, the cost will be 5 rupees or a 10 rupees, so maintenance cost is very small. Reduced noise pollution, whereas other vehicles while moving, there is a there is heavy noise there is a huge noise comes from the vehicles, but here there is a noiseless operation, battery life and cost, easy driving. Here the driving skills is not required to vehicle electric vehicle, to drive electric vehicle. Even the ordinary person without know the driving, he can able to drive the electric vehicle. Disadvantage of electric vehicle, we cannot forget about the disadvantages. Of course, there are lot of advantages. Nursion to advantages, we cannot forget about the disadvantages, recharging points, that means a charging station, where to get a charging station, initial cost, we need to spend a lot of amount to purchase the electric vehicle, electricity is not free, either a 5 rupees or a 10 rupees, but it is not a free, we need to pay, we need to buy the electricity from concerning authority, longer recharging time, we need to spend one hour, two hours or three hours depends upon the capacity of the battery. In case if, if it is a 100 ampere hour battery, so what is the amount we have to spend to charge the battery? Unnecessary, there is a waste of time. Silence is a disadvantage, here it is a noiseless operation, of course it is an advantage, but under the same time while moving, it may not give any indication to the other rider. It is a dangerous, it is very danger, silence is very danger, normally it is a electric vehicle. Yeah, normally there is a, two, in case if you go for a two wheeler, there is a two seater. Of course, we can switch over to electric cars, but the cost, again the cost increases. If the load increases, the battery quickly discharges, battery replacement, in case if the battery discharges, Immediately we need to replace other battery, but there is, a, there is a extra space is required to store the additional battery. In case if the battery discharges, we can replace this battery with additional battery, not suitable for cities. While moving the vehicle in the city, if the battery suddenly discharges, just see what is the remedy, unnecessary waste of time. There are lot of disadvantages are there, but we need to eliminate it minimal amount of pollution. Objective, to design an effective e-vehicle, just before I told you, we can design we can design electric vehicle, either a two-wheeler or a three-wheeler or a four-wheeler or there is a heavy vehicle. So, the basic, th basic things we have to remember, one is a battery, there is a motor, in between these two, there is a controller. But rest of the thing, the ordinary person can design the body of electric vehicle, the body of electric car. Of course, there is a steering, there is a wheels, everything. But the main important factors are battery, controller and there is a motor. To understand the automobile trends that are emerging, emerging. to design a cost effective product, we can design electric vehicle, but as electrical engineer, we have to design low cost electric vehicle. 
how to save, how to reduce the cost or the time of designing an electric vehicle. For example, there is a two seater electric vehicle. For a two seat electric vehicle, there is a one kilowatt is required. Instead of one kilowatt, if you go for a three kilowatt or four kilowatt, you just imagine what is the cost of a battery. One kilowatt battery, let us say there is a 5000 rupees. In case if you go for there is a three kilowatt, you have to spend a 20,000 rupees. Just see the difference. Unknowingly, we cannot design electric vehicle. We need to find out, we need to use suitable equations, calculations. We have to work on it. Otherwise, the cost of electric vehicle goes on and increases. To, invest, to investigate the new emerging technologies and implement it for much a better use. Electric vehicle concept, what is the concept of electric vehicle? Electric vehicle is a road vehicle based on modern electric propulsion consisting of electric machines, power electronic converters, electric energy sources and storage devices and electronic controllers. So, important factors, important things, devices that require to build electric vehicle. Electric vehicle is a broad concept including BEV, HEV, etc. Regenerative braking is possible in electric vehicles. Electric vehicle is not only just a car, but a new system for our society, clean and efficient road transportation, smooth, smooth operation, lighter in weight nice LS operation. So, we need to switch over to electric vehicle. Electric vehicle is an intelligent system which can be integrated with the modern transportation and network. Electric vehicle design involves the integration of art of engineering. More advancements are to be done to make them affordable. Even the electric vehicle can available at a cheaper rate for the ordinary people. So, therefore, the electrical engineers has to work on it, how to reduce the cost effective, how to increase, it is a, how to increase very attractive to the consumers. Reduction in battery cost along with performance enhancement, performance enhancement, the efficiency of a battery. For example, when we move the vehicle, we are expecting to cover at least a 100 kilometer. But when you reach a 50 kilometers, the battery may not, may not supply electricity to the motor. That depends upon the poor performance, the quality of the battery. Reduction in battery cost. See the same 12 voltage battery that depends upon the current carrying capacity. The lead acid battery available in the market for 5000 rupees, whereas the lithium ion battery is available at a cost of 15,000, but it is a lighter in weight. It is a heavy weight, whereas the lead acid batteries, there is a, a heavy weight, it is a lighter in weight. When it is a heavy weight, we cannot drive the vehicle, we can, the speed decreases, the coverage of distance decreases, whereas the battery which is a lighter in weight, the same capacity. Just imagine, here there is a lead acid battery, here there is a battery, a battery of a lighter in weight, lithium ion battery, it is a lighter in weight. Here the lead acid battery can able to cover only 50 kilometers, here we can cover a 70 to 80 kilometers because it is a lighter in weight. The battery may not be discharged quickly. Better research and development facilities for efficient electric motors which can also help to improve the range of electric vehicles. India has a good solar potential, hence more research needs to be done regard to charging using solar as to make the charging of cars. Here the solar energy, plenty of energy available from the sun. So we have to utilize the solar energy properly. We cannot fully depend upon the conventional energy. If the battery discharges, we need to switch over, we need to search where there is a charging station. We have to find out the suitable charging station. We have to move vehicle to that place. We have to sit more than one hour or two hours to charge the battery. But when we use a solar energy with the help of other battery, when the vehicle is moving, we can utilize the solar energy. We can charge the battery. When the battery discharges, 
automatically we can replace the surplus battery. Therefore, effective use of solar energy that should be utilized. Battery, the important block diagram for any type of electric vehicle. Here we have designed electric vehicle, a 48 volt, a 32 ampere, motor control is required, there is a DC motor, transmission, there is a driver wheels. These are the important factors, important basic structure of any type of electric vehicle. Batteries are required. When the battery is connected to a motor, in between there is a motor controller. Controller means we can switch it on and there is a switch it off. But the speed we have to maintain, that can be done with the help of a motor controller. Here the battery, we have to think over how to charge the battery. The battery can be charged with the help of the conventional energy. There is a electric energy available at a domestic purpose. There is a 230 volt 50 hertz supply with the help of this we can charge the battery. That is a one method by using a battery charger. Number two, by proper utilization of solar energy or else there is nowadays there is a research is going on to utilize the power with the help of a wind. When the battery, battery able to run the motor, the motor connected to your transmission chain and the driver wheels. What are the various components required? Just before I told you, an electric vehicle or a two wheeler or a four wheeler, any type of vehicle, electric vehicle. What are the basic components required? The main power source which is used to drive the vehicle wheels providing the required the energy efficiency. For example, there is a 12 voltage 4 number batteries. Because the capacity of the battery, the capacity of the motor is a 48 volt. The question is how to get a 48 volts. Here the availability of the batteries in the market, there is a 12 voltage. We have to buy 4 batteries. All the 4 batteries to be connected in series. When the batteries are connected in series, the total voltage becomes 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, that is a 48 volts. Here the current carrying capacity of the motor that we have to calculate. In the very beginning we have to select a motor. Then after that we have to find out what is the current drawn by this motor, what is the manufacturer designed, that is the rated current of a motor. I is equal to P by V, here the current let us say there is a 32 ampere, 32 ampere required. When we switch on, the motor that draws, draws a 32 ampere from the battery. In case if you run the vehicle continuously for a one hour, it draws a 32 ampere, complete 32 ampere. The battery is able to give, able to supply continuously for a one hour. After one hour, what next? Again, we have to recharge, find out suitable methods. Driver controller, the main function of the controller is as a regulator of electric energy from batteries and inverter that will be distributed to electric motor that is a controller. The controller, driver controller, switch it on or switch it off, adjust the speed, the various lighting devices that we can control with the help of this controller. Current rating of a 40 ampere with additional features like speed limiting, low and high voltage protection, reverse and forward protection. The motor we need to, we, we need to go back. We need to move the vehicle in the forward and the reverse manner. How to change the direction of rotation with the help of a controlling device. So forward direction, forward direction, the vehicle is moving in the forward direction. Suddenly we need to go back at the time we have to change the direction of rotation. The direction of rotation that depends upon the type of the motor. For example, there is a three phase motor, three phase induction motor. When three phase supply is given, the machine starts rotating a particular speed, particular direction. If I want to change the direction, direction of rotation, we can interchange any two supply terminals. In the same way, we need to change the direction of rotation of the motor with the help of a driver controller, with the help of a driver controller. DC to DC converter is used to convert 48 voltage to 12 voltage, which is used to lighting or horn purposes. 12 voltage, there are 4 batteries you have to connect it in series, 12 into 4, 48 voltage. Current rating, 15 ampere, a lighting circuit that equals 15 ampere. Brushless DC motor, DC motor with no brushes. 
here in case a brushless DC motor, what is the difference between brushless DC motor and ordinary a DC motor? For example, there is a brush motor, the motor which has a brush, there is a DC shunt motor. The DC shunt motor we have to give supply to the armature through a brushes. When you use the brush, there is spark takes place. We cannot completely avoid this spark, but we can reduce. Whereas a brushless DC motor, there is no question of spark producers. When there is a spark produced in the motor, DC motor, without in addition to or without a brushless DC motor, if you use a DC shunt motor, what will happen? Number one, there is a brush. Whenever there is a brush, the current passes through the brush, there is a spark takes place. If there is a continuous spark occurs across the armature, there is a carbon forms which increases the insulation property, the output decreases, the efficiency of the machine decreases. Therefore, we have to switch over to a brushless DC motor. There is no question of producing spark in a brushless DC motor. Solar panel device used to absorb the sun's rays and convert them into electricity or heat. We can avoid unnecessary waste of time when the battery completely discharges. We can charge the battery with the help of a solar energy. As we all know, all electric vehicles have electric motor instead of the IC engines. The vehicle uses a large traction battery pack to power the electric motor and must be plugged into charging station or well outlet to charge. The vehicle emits no exhaust from a tailpipe and does not contain the typical liquid fuel components. There is no question of any emissions from electric vehicle, but the only thing is when the battery is put into charging condition, there is emissions, emissions which comes out from the battery. It is very dangerous for the human being. The traction battery that is used to charge the auxiliaries are lead acid battery of 48 volts, 80 ampere hour. Here for a 1 kilowatt motor, just before I told you, the current carrying capacity is 32 ampere. Instead of 32 ampere, we can go for 80 ampere hour. 80 ampere hour means, you just imagine in your pocket there is 80 rupees. Nam pocket till nam 80 rupees there. Then you purchase money ke beka gyron to do only 32 rupees. So there is a surplus amount, remaining amount I can keep it in my pocket. Next time I purchase money beka gyron I can use this amount. In the same way, when we go for 80 ampere hour battery, if the motor continuously, the electric vehicle continuously moves or riding, what is the amount of, what is the amount of current rush? 32 ampere. And there is one day again, 32 ampere hours to drama. One day, Mardaka. So 80 ampere, 32 ampere, Vodre, around 48 ampere, Vodre, around one and a half hour. So two and a half hour continuous agna words. Instead of 32 ampere, if you go for 80 or 80 ampere hour. Our Yerdu or a Gante continuous agors bodu. And there is two kilometer we can cover. What is the amount of what is the kilometers we can cover? You just imagine if we drive the electric vehicle, for example, there is a 60 kilometer per hour. Yerdu or a Gante 60 plus 60 plus 30, around 150 kilometers. And there, in case if you go for 80 kilometer, 80 ampere hour, so we can cover more number of kilometers. The traction battery that is used to charge the auxiliaries are lead acid battery of 48 volt 80 ampere hour capacity which supplies a required power to the DC motor provided with the controller and voltage regulator circuit which in turn drives the wheels of the vehicle. So here voltage regulation there is also very important factor. Sudden agi charging charge mode vehicle voltage and self of the electric the lighting circuit may get damage. Therefore electric regulator that is placed in the controller. The overall weight of the vehicle is 135 kg. This is the example. There is a vehicle, there is a small three wheeler electric car we have designed. The, car, the weight 135 kg. The battery has a lifetime about four to six years. The main speciality of vehicle, it is a back wheel. So we have designed a three wheel electric vehicle, electric car. Front, there is a two wheeler, back side, there is a single wheel. Here, the motor that is connected to a back wheel only. Back wheel means there is only single wheel. You just imagine when we connected a battery, a single wheel, it has to rotate only one wheel. 
in case if we connected a two wheeler it has to rotate two wheel that means the load increases as compared to as compared to single wheel the two wheeler that draws a more current from the battery for this purpose we have connected a battery to a back wheel only this is a unique concept if two wheels would be driven then torque would be more and the friction would be also be more driving the back wheel more flexibility can be achieved with the less losses and we can increase the life of the battery as the future work planning to place a solar panel we need to concentrate on place a solar panel nowadays there is a flexible solar panels available in the market in the top roof in the top of electric car, electric car we can fix a solar it looks very nicely and also we are able to charge our batteries with the help of a solar panels what are the salient features of electric vehicles unlike the ordinary cars they have a hand brake they have a hand brake but the speciality of our electric vehicle is a leg brake nowadays we are already familiar about there is a hand brake here we have provided in our electric vehicle there is a leg brake as electrical engines we focus mainly on the protection of the circuit on this regards we have used a circuit breaker electric vehicle we can put one a circuit breaker that is a main switch whenever we need to move the vehicle we have to switch we have to switch on the circuit breaker when you close the circuit breaker now the battery able to supply the complete supply to the electric car it, it is eco friendly and does not emit out any kind of emission and provides a clean environment resulting in a healthy living when the vehicle is in charging condition when the vehicle is in moving condition when the vehicle is in moving condition it does not emit any gases but of course at the charging condition it emit a gases additional solar panels can be added and to charge the vehicle when it is been parked a layman can also effectively use the vehicle it can be easily used in safari places electric when, when you design the electric vehicle at a narrow places even in the forest when you visit the forest without disturbing the animals without disturbing the birds we can easily drive the vehicle it is a noiseless vehicle that simply runs smoothly and won't disturb the animals in the forest hence it provides a noiseless operation it can be taken on narrow roads very flexibly and has ease easy while turning or reversing as it is provided with forward and reverse switches electric motors we have to drive the both the directions we can run the electric motors in the both the directions by changing the direction of rotation but how to change the direction of rotation by connecting a forward reverse switch it can be effectively be used during wildlife photography due to the noiseless operation on the vehicle scope of electric vehicles there is a lot of scope for electric vehicles another 5 to 10 years there are 99% of vehicles around us are electric vehicles only with the battery prices reportedly falling from 73% since 2010 the electric cars are expected to be as cheap as fuel powered cars in the stable future just before i told you to drive an ic engine electric car for 1 for 1 liter we need to drive either is a 20 km the cost of 1 liter fuel 100 rupees here for the same distance we have to spend per kilometer there is a 10 paisa within a 1 rupee or a 2 rupees we can able to cover the same distance no challenges will stop the electric cars from being popular as it is a lightweight more convenient and it gives a safer ride electric vehicles are turning into a promising channel towards improving air quality energy security and economic opportunity facilities and tools required dc motor 1 kilowatt motor driver controller led acid battery of course nowadays lithium ion battery is available in the market the charging unit reduction gearbox body suspension steering seat wheels so the, the this is the electric vehicle we have designed front side there is a two wheeler back side the single wheel 
the motor is connected to a back side there is a single wheel, here it is a single seater, at the back side there is a sufficient space is there. We can keep additional batteries inside the electric car and also in the top roof we are planning to put a flexible solar panel. While driving the vehicle automatically we can able to utilize the solar energy and the battery which is placed in the surplus place we can recharge and whenever we required we can use that battery. Here maximum we can drive 60 kilometer for one recharge there is a 60 kilometer. The cost approximately there is a 3 rupees. The cost of the total vehicle around there is a 60,000. The important parts used in the vehicle are there is a battery, lead acid battery. There are 4 lead acid batteries connected in series. Finally, we got 48 volts. There is one controller, there is a motor, 1 kilowatt motor, 1 kilowatt 48 volt motor. Current carrying capacity, the, the motor that requires 32 ampere, the 32 ampere is supplied by the battery. And there is a chassis, front side there is a two wheelers, back side there is single wheel, steering and there is single seat. The, the total cost, approximate cost is 60,000. In case if we go for a higher end, we have to increase the capacity of the motor. Instead of 1 kilowatt, we can go for a 3 kilowatt or a 4 kilowatt or a 5 kilowatt. The cost of the motor increases. The rating of voltage, what is the voltage required? Instead of 48 volts, it may require a 60 voltage. When you require a 60 voltage, one more battery that we have to connect it in series, a 12 voltage batteries. If you go for a 12 voltage, 5 batteries you have to connect it in series. Around another 60,000, maybe 1,50,000, we can able to build one electric car. Batteries for hybrid and plug-in electric vehicles. Why lithium is used in batteries? Here we have to compare lithium ion battery as to lead acid battery. Of course, the lead acid battery is a cheaper, but it is a costlier. But here the main drawback of lead acid battery, it is a heavy in weight. The output of electric vehicle decreases, that means the speed of electric vehicle decreases. But here it occupies a very less space. Instead of four batteries, if you go for a single battery, lithium ion battery, it occupies a very less space, whereas the lead acid batteries, there are four batteries we have to connect it in series. You just imagine what is the amount of space required. Here a very small amount of space is required in case if you go for a lithium ion batteries. But there is a disadvantage. It is a costlier as compared to a lead acid battery. These battery packs are similar to the lithium ion except that electric vehicles never use a single capacitor like a phone instead this pack composed thousands of independently on cells that work together. Lithium has been a popular and effective therapy for electric vehicles. However, lithium is a key component in today's powerful batteries and is present in everything from mobile phones, electric vehicles and e-bike batteries. However, what makes lithium so useful for such a wide range of applications? Keep browsing the article. So here lot of survey is going on, lot of research work is going on. How to improve the efficiency of lithium ion batteries? The lithium ion batteries has to available in the market are very low cost. Then only we can expect a lot of electric vehicles, even ordinary people can buy the electric vehicle. In case if you want to replace electric battery for electric vehicle, after one year we have to spend 15,000 or 20,000 for lithium ion battery. So, it maintenance cost becomes very high. Therefore, the lithium ion batteries should be available in the market at a low cost. The government has to give subsidy for these lithium ion batteries. Lithium is a beneficial to cells for three reasons. First, since it rapidly releases its outermost electron, it is a pretty reactive making it simple to get power flow through a cell. Secondly, Lithium is considerably lighter than other elements utilized in cells such as lead, lead necessary for small devices such as phones and cars with the several batteries. Finally, 
since lithium ions and electrons quickly move back into negative electrodes, the lithium ion batteries can get recharged. Applications of lithium ion batteries, they are very good electricity storages as compared to the lead acid batteries, good storage devices, losses are very less. Here if the, the efficiency of this battery is a 95 percent, whereas lead acid battery may be there is 80 percent. The good storage device, the lithium ion battery functions in the same way as other batteries. The electrodes on the other hand are not as highly influenced by chemical process. While draining, Leon ions move from the negative anode to the positive cathode and likewise when recharged. That means automatically the, it, it changes when charging and discharging conditions. The high energy density of lithium ion battery is the primary reason for their popularity. As a result, mobile gadgets can take power from very thin area. Compared to other battery technologies like nickel cadmium or nickel aluminum hybrid, lithium ion batteries have a quick charging periods as compared to other batteries. For example, there is a nickel cadmium or there is a lead acid. If it takes for the same rating of the battery, just imagine for the same rating of the battery, there is a lead acid battery. When you put it in a charging condition, if it takes a two hours, whereas a nickel cell very quickly, it takes a, within a one hour it can reach recharge. Futuristic technology of lithium ion storage. Portable electrical devices have traditionally been the principal consumer for lithium ion batteries, but demand for lithium ion batteries in transportation has been transported sector is electric field of course by lithium ion batteries. An electric vehicle can now travel 360 to 450 kilometers on a single charge, it is a miracle. You just imagine, if once we charge, we are able to cover a 360 to 450 kilometer, where it is very advantage on a single charge. The independence of a car will enhance a power density, improves making electric automobiles, a lot of research is going here. In case if you are able to drive the vehicle at a 360 to 450 kilometer in a single charge, it is a very advantage. Electric cars grow every month. For example, the sales of electric vehicle in this month, let us say there is a 20 percent, next month there is a 25 percent, again 30 percent. The sales day by day goes on increases. The popularity of electric vehicle day by day goes on increases. The main problems include risks of fire and that electric vehicles are not safe. So here the important factor of electric vehicle, important factor electric, electric vehicle is a battery. Here when the fire occurs, when the battery is put into charging condition due to overload condition, when the battery is put into overload condition continuously, so when the battery terminals are connected up properly. So, when the terminals are able to collect a supply from the battery, that is from anode, from positive to negative outside the circuit and negative to positive inside the circuit. So, while collecting, there is a chances are there the fire occurs. There is a spark, there is a continuous spark. At most care to be taken to reduce the spark. There is the case of too much high tech visibility, charger compatibility, vehicle cost, financing charging stations just to name as a few. Here that means there are some disadvantages, we cannot forget about some disadvantage electric vehicle. The main drawback electric vehicle is the battery, the battery, the cost of the battery, what type of battery the consumer has to use. In case if you go for a low cost battery, there is a spark occurs due to continuous spark, chances are there the fire takes place. Still research are going to increase the life of the battery, to increase the efficiency of the battery. Here traction, electric vehicle use electric motor for traction, energy sources, energy sources, how we are going to store electrical energy, chemical batteries, fuel cells, ultra capacitor, flywheels. So in the next class, we are going to discuss about the various storage devices that required for electric vehicle. That means the battery, the role of the battery, we cannot forget about the role of the battery. The battery, there are different types of cells available in the market. How to increase the life of the cells? Then 
what are the different types of electric vehicles available in the market, what are the different companies manufacturing electric vehicles. These things let us discuss in the next class. Thank you all.